Hello to everyone watching this video. It's Leviathan here again. And to start things off, I'm going to introduce myself to newcomers. I'm born high-functioning autistic, I'm obsessed with fiction, and I'm planning to make my own creative universe like the late Stan Lee did. I am feeling very hopeful because I now have over 11.2k views. I finally passed the milestone and I'm planning to go to 15k views next. And I'm going to need your guys' help for me to reach to that point. And thank you for all the 470 views in every other country other than the United States overall. Thank you in all languages. For this video I'm going to introduce two characters because I feel like I'm confident enough to do just two in terms of making it worth it for you guys. Does that make sense? I just hope so. I'll just stick with the first character, and I just hope that it's some kind of adrenaline rush for you guys. Red Howler. Real name, Lucy Moonbeam. Height, 5 feet 10 inches to 10 feet. Weight, 152 pounds to 488 pounds. Status, anti-hero and daughter of Moonslasher. Base, New York City, Mobile. Intelligence, two and a half brains to five brains. Behavior, flirtatious and caring in her default form, yet bloodthirsty and vicious in her werewolf form. Like her mother, she also has a strong passion for meat. Lethality, extremely deadly. The severity of her curse depends on the moon's phases. Weaknesses, silver. Her curse isn't contagious. Powers. She has great strength, sharp claws and teeth, high agility, and a ravenous appetite when in her werewolf form. All the phases of the moon will create a certain level of severity in her curse. She's also immortal and immune to extreme heat. Eyes, purplish, hair, deep red. Origin. During their honeymoon, Gala Moonbeam and George Farmer had a daughter on the night of the full moon which they named Lucy. Later they heard that a mob was going to destroy Gala and her family and they decided to leave Lucy up to adoption by transporting her to the future United States. Years later, Lucy grew up until her parents revealed her adoption, outraging her and making her run away. That night she found that the full moon turned red and shot an unnatural beam onto her, igniting her curse. Lucy then woke the next morning in the middle of the woods and finding a star-shaped mark on the back of her right hand. When Lucy returned to her parents the next night, she learned online that it's the mark of the werewolf and tried to protect her parents, but thus changed into a red-furred werewolf and killed them. Eventually, Lucy found that she can also change when there's a moon in the daytime sky, as well as her curse being arranged to a different phase of the moon. Her minimum power being a new moon, her maximum being a full moon, her moderate being a half moon, and so forth. One night, Lucy attacked another werewolf and found that it was Gala, and she reunited with her true father as well. Nowadays, Lucy will always try to deal with her curse costume. She wears nothing official, whatever she feels like wearing. In her werewolf form, she's covered in red fur. Team solitary with her parents and others, original inspiration, werewolves. Here's the second one, which I hope is worth it for you guys. It's a creature and villain at the same time, if that makes any sense. Arachalith. Real name, implicable. Length, four million feet. Weight, unrevealed. Status, villain, and creation of Dr. Scream. Base, mobile. Intelligence, three and a half brains. Behavior, savage and bloodthirsty. She'll do anything to destroy all in sight. Lethality, extremely deadly to most opponents in their dwellings. Weaknesses, her stomach. She hates being dwarfed. Powers, she has immense size and strength. Teleportation, is hard to kill, is a fast swimmer, and possesses a variety of aquatic powers. She wields a massive steel trident, able to pierce the toughest of armor. She also possesses acute senses, along with having an enormous appetite. 
Eyes, sky blue, hair deep red and flowing. Origin. After finding the potential of the Alpha Mer, Dr. Scream decided to collect some Mermian DNA and weaponize it to become one of the deadliest of her creations, the towering Oracolith. After commanding her to destroy Seattle, Oracolith ended up fighting Kyjericus until she had to flee due to her injuries. Outraged of the defeat of her latest creation, Dr. Scream had eventually recovered Oracolith for her future plans of world conquest. Costume. She simply wears a green latex top. Team Solitary with Dr. Scream and other villains. Original inspiration, Merifolk. Well, I hope those two videos are worth it for you guys. And just so you know, I'm still trying to find a, an occupation because I feel like the longer I don't have a job, the more likely people would hold it against me. And I just really hope that I would, like, it's been six months now. And I just need something. You know? I just hope that you guys understand. And uh, if you guys want, you could like, subscribe, comment down below, and share if you want. You know how it is. You don't have to uh, incorporate. I, I just don't want to force anyone. But at the same time, it does feel pleasant to feel like I matter in life. I, I'm just trying to make things work for you guys. That's all I'm trying to say. I hope you guys have a fine rest of the summer vacation and such, and until next time, in transmission.